Hi there, in this video we are going to discuss built-in functions available in the Terraform. In our last function we have detailed described the views of variables and variable types. If you haven't watched that particular video, the link is given in the description. I will ha I highly recommend you to go and watch that video. Here in this video we are going to discuss the different built-in functions available in Terraform and we are going to see how practically we can use those variable types. Terraform provides some of the built-in function types for example numeric functions, string functions, collections, encoding, file system, data type, hash and cryptographic function, IP and networking type of function and the type conversion function as well. So we are going to look at some of the important functions which you might use in your coding during writing your infrastructure as a code. Let's look at now. Let's first of all look at some of the string functions which I do use in my functions, in, in my code basically. Let's see, I want to print the function or format the value. So I'm going to define some of the locales here. We've already explained how important the locales are. So let's say the locales I'm going to give hello. So here I'm going to print the value of the local hello. And let's see if I'm able to use this function format. So basically this is the example we are going to see how the format function works. So in the format, if you want to pass on the value, then you need to use dollar and the small letter s. Let's see if I'm able to print the value here. My mistake, it should be local and then dollar. Yeah, as you can see, I'm able to print the value from run. So I'm able to print the value of the format. Now let's print some of the value using the format lift. So we have another type of string function which is format list. Format list. This is the name of local variable which I'm giving it here, which I'm going to use it. Let's see how you can use. So basically if, if you have a list and you want to use uh, any prefix, suffix or uh, any Basically, you want to adjust the each element of your list uh, list into a string. Then you can use the format list. This is going to be a really important function. Let's see if it works. Says the format is format list. Yeah, you can see after hello, I'm formatting all my list elements and I'm getting the outcome hello with the name of the members within the list available. Next functions I have is the join function. It's easy. You can see the join function is available through The join function you can use it like this. Another function is the lower function which if you want you can lowercase some of the values if you want to use. Next is the upper function which you want to use to uppercase your data. Next another important function is the replace function which you can use 
one more is the split function and then the title function which I like a lot so if you have a scenario wherein you want to make a title hello title so what this function will do here is I'm just giving the value name it will make uh, if you are passing the statement or multiple words then this title function will make sure first character of each word is getting converted into the upper case so this is what the title function is going to do let's see you can see the hello world input was provided in the small letter but now the H for hello and W for world is getting converted into the capital letter I highly recommend to use these functions which is going to be very helpful if you are writing infrastructure as a code in the Terraform regardless you are using Azure, AWS or any other cloud provider now let's look at some of the collection functions here in my collection functions first of all let's check the lookup function so basically lookup is if if you are familiar about the lookups in Excel sheet like in Excel you have the lookup formula wherein you can search for element in the Excel sheet similar to that the lookup here in the Terraform it's going to help you to search an element within the map type so you need to first parameter you need to provide the map type and then the, the element or the key which you want to search and if the key is found it will return the result if it doesn't found what is the default value you want to print so you can give the default value it's totally optional let's look at now see I'm printing the lookup type some act um, I was expecting this as an outcome because I passed the value a so I'm expecting the outcome as B so one of the good example of providing the uh, using the lookup type is let's say you have the uh, workspace let's say UK South and then you are going to call it as a West UK South UK East UK East and similar to that I have a couple of more locations EU W here if I'm going to pass let's say this is my workspace so for example terraform dot workspace so if I'm going to use the workspace we will see that what workspace is in the later chapter but for now I'm just giving you one of the real life example how you can use the lookup type so you can use the provide the workspace workspace whatever workspace you are in right now the workspace value it will pick up and then from there you will choose the value like that or maybe you can say at the dev environment I should be provisioning it to the UK South the test is into again UK South or maybe West Europe then you can pass on the values like that and it should print the value so this is one of the example of uh, real life example where you are going to use the lookup
next you can see I have the index function so if you have the list and if you want to find out any uh, index of uh, of an element then you can use the index function which is very important again if you want to concatenate a uh, list two different list together then this is the function you, which you can use another function is the contains function if you want to make sure or match a particular element available in the list or not and this so you can use the contain function it will return true or false as a boolean result one of the uh, m best function i found here in the terraform is the element function again you can go ahead and use the element function uh, which will return the value for example index function i can use let's say i have I have the list or map I have the list uh, of available location which I can provision my environment so I can use the value uh, let's say if I'm going to pass the value location as a West Europe then I, I will get the value as a UKS or maybe let's say I get the value as an index let's say index one and then once I have the index one I can pass that particular index here and then index here in the element function and once the uh, index is available it will give me the return the actual value of my location so this is where you can use the element function which I've, I used to use in my infrastructure as a code in Terraform length is another function which you want to use let's say if you want to uh, iterate uh, a loop onto onto your list or a collection then length is the must have function which you want to use another function is the merge function which is more of a merging two different list based on the key so if if merge function has uh, two different map type collection type which is a map type so here what we are doing is I have a map type a map type B and I'm trying to merge both uh, the different map type so it will try and find out each and every attribute if attributes are different then it will arrange the attribute after each other if let's say one of the attribute is uh, or key of the, that particular attribute is found in both the collection then whatever collections value uh, comes later that gets the precedence and the value of that particular map uh, that particular key will be printed or merged uh, as outcome so in this case if you see a and b a equal to b c equal to d and here e equal to f so these three values are totally unique so it's going to be fine but now here if you see uh, we have the key c which is also available in our first map first map so here the value of key c in the first map is C but in the second map is Z so the final value which is going to be merged is C equal to Z instead of C equal to D so this is how the map function works again if you are familiar about the uh, key value pairs in the dictionary so similar to that map function if you want to list down all the available keys available in the uh, your map function so you can use the function key so it will display the list of keys so here if I'm going to print the list of keys then it should display A, C and D similar to that if you, if, uh, if you are interested to retrieve the list of values available in your Terraform then what you can do is you can use the value function which is good again to retrieve the, all the values 